Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the thing that I the thing that I think is the biggest bottleneck in software development. So let's get into it. So this is a good question. What is the biggest bottleneck in software development today or in programming? Well, I would say that there is only one that I that really stands out to me and that is indecision, poor leadership and stakeholder problems. So basically what I mean here isn't that bad management or things like that is necessarily the thing that I'm pointing out as an issue here, but what I'm pointing out is that most of the time you will find that the biggest bottleneck in software development is not to get the actual code written. That is usually fairly straightforward. The problem is to understand what the hell you're supposed to be building so that you get it right because I don't know how many times at this point where like any oversight in the specification or anything like that, it raises a question and then you're always in this situation where, okay, so your specification or the thing that you are, have been told to build, uh, well, it, you have a question now because for some reason you've done some scope creeping or something has changed a little bit and some ad hoc decisions have been made to accommodate something at some point you've realized that it's unspecified you're going to build a web page with a login button but nobody told you what fucking color the login button is going to be cool so now you need to have an answer to what color is the login button going to be you go to your manager you ask that question and now depending on the company that you are working for and depending on how agile or whatever how autonomous your team is that one question for you to get the answer to can take, it can be immediate or it could take several days to get an answer back on that. You see, because depending on the organization and depending on the nature of the question that you ask, that is basically an oversight in the specification itself, it might be that your product manager is confident enough to just say, oh yeah, it should be blue or it should be red, or it should be green, whatever. But it could also be that that person now, oh, because they have a boss and they have several peers within the project management community or circle or area or whatever, and they all need not to. They all need to have a meeting now. They need to synchronize because this is a big question. Of course, it could have been anything. It could have been a security issue. It could have been tons of stuff. Like depending on the organization, right? And now they need to schedule maybe five or four other, five, four or five other, maybe even more people to have a decision on what and have a really in-depth discussion about what that the color of that button is going to be said and done so now you are basically forced to block that story you can't continue your work because you don't have an answer to this question and you have no idea this happens on an almost daily basis even in a startup even in at the level of where we are supposed to be the most autonomous uh, and all that good stuff right even at that level it, this happens and then you can't do anything you just said hey i'm just going to put that to the shelf right now and i'm going to start on the next story and god forbid the same thing happens on that story it, you, it's rare that i find that i work on more than one or two stories at the same time that might be a little bit blocked but it, oh, it's almost a constant thing. There's always something that's blocked, almost always, every single week. And that is definitely the biggest bottleneck, just to get the decision on what color to have on the button or to what approach to take because it's unspecified. But at the same time, it's almost impossible to foresee every single possible scenario and question that needs answering when you are in the planning stage. It's almost like we are, and most of programmers agree that you get to this sweet, sweet spot because, and this is kind of where I, why Agile became a thing in the first place because Waterfall has this limitation. The problem is that it's impossible for you to foresee, almost, almost impossible at least, to foresee every single question that will arise based on the information you have at the planning stage. You need to write a little bit of code or like start working a little bit for some of the questions and outstanding things that haven't been addressed yet to kind of fall out of the tree, right? So that you can see them, so you can see and address them at that point, right? But that, that, and this is where the problem really comes because unfortunately, if you have a company that really only supports an efficient method of working by doing waterfall and then basically the only 
the only way you can make any other changes afterward, afterwards is by simply by basically forcing the developers to take the decision as much as humanly possible, regardless of what it is, because you can, even when your management team can't really make a decision on that. It, it, there's like it's almost impossible to work in this fashion without having severe delays, and this is why really, really, really large organizations are like you have no idea how slow they are. I worked with, towards some fairly high profile customers that are some of the oldest organizations in the world. And I mean, something like, I'm, I can't give away too much, but I can tell you things like a simple thing, like putting a link or something on a web page or anything like that. We're not measuring getting an answer for that question in hours. We're measuring, 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 it, measuring it in weeks. I shit you not. Putting a static link on a web page is a decision that can take weeks to just, and that's just not even implementation, just the actual discussion. I mean, you, it's, it's insane how long it takes and it comes down to office politics. It comes down to having multiple cross-cutting departments that all need to be in sync and have a schedule and having uh, having meetings and having like a consensus about what to do it's basically a big democracy uh, and it's as like regardless of how you feel about democracy we can all agree that democracy is not the best way to get fast results and this is this is by far in my world the biggest bottleneck in software development management is and having a decision made based based on the current requirements is definitely always going to be the, the biggest time consumer i don't know i mean sometimes a uh, story can be delayed by or a piece of work can be delayed by weeks or at the very least days just because you don't know like you could take the decision immediately but you as the software developer cannot take that decision because if you do, either somebody's going to be unhappy with it or yeah, it's something that you shouldn't take a decision on. So just having people schedule their calendars uh, and synchronize on this is what the color of the button is going to be is by far the thing that is going to delay you the most. So what I want you to take away from this is that at least for me, the biggest bottleneck in software development is going to be management uh, to have a decision or a find any, a consensus to a decision that needs to be taken uh, or on some, up, some requirement that wasn't discovered in the first place. And depending, uh, as I said, it's kind of fun because it's the way that you can determine how efficient your company actually is overall. The time it takes you to get an answer to what color should the button be, that, that question, is the thing that's going to do, show you where on the scale you are in terms of efficiency within the company. If you can get, the best thing is if you can ask the question, like you do an over the shoulder and ask your, your next manager, what color should it be? And you get an, an answer immediately. The worst thing is when you have to block it and basically wait until you get an answer. And the time it takes is the best indicator on how fast your company can actually move. That's at least based on my experience. Have a great day.